Hi friends, today's lesson is a close read number three for Eric Carl's A House for Hermit Crab. Our learning goal for today says, I can describe how the illustrations and words work together in the story. Friends, why does the author sometimes include illustrations in the story to go along with the words? Yeah, to help build understanding. If they're describing something, usually having a picture is going to be helpful to better understand what they're talking about. Let's go ahead and read our text today. And as we do, we're going to be answering questions using the illustrations and the words. In August, Hermit Crab and his friends wandered into a forest of seaweed. It's so dark in here, thought Hermit Crab. How dim is it? murmured the sea anemone. How gloomy is it? whispered the starfish. How murky is it? complained the coral. I can't see, said the snail. It's like nighttime, cried the sea urchin. Friends, what is the forest of seaweed like? Hmm. What would you do? What kind of words would you just use to describe this forest of seaweed over here? Yeah, it is pretty dark and gloomy. I agree with that. You know what? How would we be able to answer this? How do you know what it's like? Well, first of all, first thing we can do is look in the text. Like the hermit crab said, it's so dark in here. And the sea anemone says, how dim is it? Ugh, dim means there's not a lot of light. How gloomy is it? That reminds me of like a rainy day when it's not sunny and it's just kind of yucky. He also said, how murky is it? And I can't see, it's like nighttime. So all of those words help us to understand what the forest of seaweed is like. And then I put an arrow over here because also this good picture helps us, right? What are some describing words you could say about the forest of seaweed just using the illustration? Yeah, we could say things like it's dark, dark green. Yeah, it looks really thick. Hey, those are good describing words. I'm so glad we have the text and the pictures to help us. <clears throat> In October, Hermit Crab approached a pile of smooth pebbles. How sturdy you are, said Hermit Crab. Would you mind if I rearranged you? Not at all, answered the pebbles. Hermit Crab picked up one by one with his claws and built a wall around his shell. Now my house is perfect, cheered Hermit Crab. Friends, what is the last thing Hermit Crab does to make his house perfect? Awesome, yeah. He picked up the pebbles one by one and he built a wall around his shell. That's what the text says. Can you look at the illustrations? Can you find the wall of pebbles in the picture and point to it with your good finger? Yeah, there it is right there. I love that you can see in the illustration how he's building up that wall, and even right there, he's picking them up one by one to make it nice and tall. That really shows me as the reader what the author was talking about. You know what? Do you know what a pebble is? Hmm. If you didn't know, you could look at the picture. What does the picture tell us a pebble is? Yeah, like a little small rock. Hey, that's another reason why the picture is so helpful for the reader. But in November, Hermit Crab felt that his shell seemed a bit too small. Little by little, over the year, Hermit Crab had grown. Soon, he would have to find another, bigger home. But he had come to love his friends, the sea anemone, the starfish, the coral, the sea urchin, the snail, the lanternfish, and even the smooth pebbles. They have been so good to me, thought Hermit Crab. They are like a family. How can I ever leave them? Friends, how does Hermit Crab feel about leaving his house? What do you think? Yeah, I think he does feel kind of sad. What makes you think that? Yeah, he does say things. He says, soon he would have to find another bigger home. But he had come to love his friends. And there were so many different friends to love, right? Yeah, he even says that they're like his family. Would you want to leave your family? No. The illustration doesn't show us his face changing very much, but if I'm thinking about 
the, the hermit crab and how he would be feeling to leave his family. I'm looking at this beautiful shell that he's decorated and the lanternfish helping him out and the sea urchin and this awesome wall. Yeah, that would make me bummed after putting in all that work to have to leave them. The illustrations are great because they help remind me of all the things that have come together to be like a family for the hermit crab. And that's why he said they've been so good to me. They're like family. How can I ever leave? I love how I can see them all working together in the illustrations. In December, a smaller hermit crab passed by. I have outgrown my shell, she said. Would you know of a place for me? I have outgrown my house too, answered hermit crab. I must move on. You are welcome to live here, but you must promise to be good to my friends. Oh, I promise, said the little crab. Friends, who moves into hermit crab's house? Yeah, the little crab, a smaller hermit crab that came by. Mm. Friends, how come a smaller hermit crab could move into his house, but hermit crab had to leave? Perfect. He had grown too big. If I wasn't sure about who was moving in, I could look at the picture. What can I guess is happening with this crabby right here, the smaller one? Yeah, it looks like she needs to leave her shell, because look how small mm -hmm. that shell is, look how big she is. And we know from reading earlier in the text that when the shell gets too small, the hermit crab has to leave. It says right there, the hermit crab said, but if you promise to be good to my friends. I promise, said the little crab. What did she promise to do? Yeah, be good to his friends. Why is that an important thing for the hermit crab to ask the new smaller crab? Yeah, because again, this illustration reminds us of how they're all working together as a team or as a family and how much work was put into that and how they're just great together. Do you think the hermit crab would want to leave all of this work behind to someone who wouldn't take care of it? No way. I'm glad that this illustration is here to remind us of all the things that he's put together to make his home. The following January, Hermit Crab stepped out and the little crab moved in. Couldn't stay in that little shell forever, said Hermit Crab as he waved goodbye. The ocean floor looked wider than he had remembered, but Hermit Crab wasn't afraid. Soon he spied the perfect house, a big empty shell. It looked, well, a little plain, but sponges, he thought, barnacles. Clownfish, sand dollar, electric eels. Oh, there are so many possibilities. I can't wait to get started. Friends, Hermit Crab finds another plain shell. Why is he so excited? That shell is plain. Why is he excited about finding that? Yeah, he thought there are so many different possibilities. He even listed off some ideas he has for decorating this new shell. I bet that's why he's so excited. He even says, I can't wait to get started. Mm -hmm. That tells me as, as the reader that like it's going to be so exciting because if I was going to do something I didn't want to do, would I say, I can't wait to get started? <laughs> In no way. And looking at the illustrations, I see this nice big shell that's totally plain. And I know from the other illustrations that the hermit crab did a beautiful job of decorating it and taking care of it. So with a bigger shell, he has a lot more possibilities. How exciting. Friends, for your extra ticket, I want you to tell me what you would decorate your shell with. Our extra ticket says, Hermit Crab decorates his plain shell and creates something beautiful. What sea creatures would you use to decorate your shell? Draw a picture of your shell with your new beautiful decorations. Label everything you add to your new home. Friends, we're going to use illustrations and words to describe the shell that you would create if you were a hermit crab. So make sure that when you draw your shell that you add on some beautiful decorations but label it so I know as the reader what your shell is going to have. I'm so excited. Good luck, friends.